Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with another Tank Power League video. So you guys really enjoyed the last Power League video where it was on tanks. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd do a follow-up one with some other tanks that I play in Power League. Um, and I'm just going to go through it and kind of show you guys different strategies and when to pick them, etc. And yeah, it's going to be completely different tanks from last time. I always want to keep it fresh for you guys. So just a little bit of variety in the brawler pool. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so game number one is going to be on Canal Grande. I love banning Eve here if they have first pick. I think Eve is probably the best brawler on the map. I don't know if I'd take it over Shelly, but I think I'd take it over Cordelius. It's just so good for pinching and uh, it's just kind of good into everything. It doesn't really get countered by a lot. So I always ban Eve on Canal. I think it's just very difficult to deal with. Uh, now they're going to ban Tick, Squeak, Barley. Those all make sense. We ban like kind of standard, I think, in my opinion. And they're going to go... Tara here so pretty aggro first pick and uh yeah obviously this is a tank video Tara is pretty good into tanks definitely one of the best tank counters in the game in my opinion right now it's definitely a top 10 brawler for me um so we're gonna go gus which i don't think it's a very good pick here but we make it work somehow and uh carl so i'm just checking the map i'm like yo is this like canal grande like did i get the map wrong they're going to pick Ash, which kind of bails us out, um, and Gray, which not like a ton of damage. So I know I can play Jackie into this, Canal Grande, Jackie's best map in the game right now, hands down. I wouldn't really recommend playing her anywhere else, and uh, even on here, like you can't pick it early, I think it's like pretty situational. Um, but yeah, so I think the Ash pick kind of bailed us out because it gives Carl, Carl into Ash is not that bad in my opinion. You just use the shield star power and you can definitely take it out when you get your super and uh yeah we just gotta get mid control and it's gonna be pretty tough if we have to play into them i think so definitely need to get that mid control nice and early right, guys game number one uh yeah i do want to go on my own side here because i don't think we can play side to side with them i guess we have a gust but i can't really do anything side to side so even though i'm just kind of sitting here like i i want my lane <laughs> that's all that matters like I obviously I'm Jackie so I can get caught out really easily I don't have a lot of range I have to like play around the walls wait for them to come to me and uh, just kind of look to make some plays so I'm gonna be on counter crush if you're playing Jackie and they have any tank every single time go counter crush the only I think the other one's called hard hat I'm pretty sure uh, I just do that if like I can like three shot everyone already pretty much like counter crush you can just see nice shield from the gust as well so we're just gonna pull tar in there and uh hopefully get the kill here uh i'm gonna go down i think yeah the ash is gonna tp i almost got my super back so we're kind of close to trading there but uh yeah pretty good trade for us overall just gonna slowly go up the other side it's really tempting to always just press your speed on jackie i find but you definitely want to save it so gray's gonna pull me and nice shield from the gust as well so i'm just gonna bait out the tar here and uh yeah it's gonna go down there so it should be a free kill but you can just see they're all grouping up you can see how good jackie is when they don't really have anything that can deal with me that well i do realize i have four stars though so i'm gonna be pretty careful here because uh it is bounty so we're gonna leave there and i'll manage to kill the tara and we'll win the game all right guys game number two now when i'm looking to play jackie some key brawlers that i see i think jackie and ash no, I wouldn't say, like, okay, on this map, I think Jackie favored. Uh, any map where the Ash can kind of poke you, I'd definitely give it to Ash, though. And it's definitely not an easy interaction. If it's 1v1, you have to actually time your damage gear to get the kill a lot of the times. Um, so, yeah, my teammates are doing good, though. I just kind of walk up right side. They don't have anything to hit me directly. They don't have, like, a barley or, like, I don't know, just something long range to poke me, get me out of there. So I'm just, like, kind of holding down this side. I don't want to feed or anything, but I do want to be closer if possible. And here you can see it's pretty rushed. Uh, you know, it's not the worst trade. Like, they get plus one star, I guess. Um, I got a gush shield. I didn't want to waste it, so not really a bad trade, I guess. It could have been a lot worse. Like, here, that's a lot worse so yeah that's what i'm talking about ash can definitely kill jackie uh a lot of it is who gets the first hit and uh wins that interaction so i see tara has pull i'm gonna try baiting it out she falls for it you know save your pull for uh better <laughs> times than that it is kind of hard to get sometimes but yeah the gush shields have actually been helping me out a ton not just with the extra hp but also he has the star power we'll get the extra damage and that's letting me like two tap a lot of these brawlers it's pretty significant damage boost so we got them in a nice little pinch here and uh yeah my teammates they can just outrange them if ash goes in 
The Carl should be able to kill it, but some good peeks from uh, the Ash actually there. I noticed that my teammates are getting low, so I have to back off. I can't stay there by myself. And uh, yeah, I am just going to bring him forward. And luckily, I know my team's there to pinch with me. I don't know what the Gray is doing there. Like, I don't know if he's ever played against a Jackie before. It's not a very common brawler nowadays, but you cannot do that to the Jackie. Um, but yeah, this game is definitely ours to lose at this point. It doesn't really matter if I die. So I'm just going to look to run up. And uh, nice job from the Carl there as well. I'm going to get the shield there, which will keep me alive. And we're just going to finish it off. So pretty clean Jackie game. All right, guys. Game number two can be on double swoosh. Uh, this is also not my server. I'm on, like, at least 100 ping here. Um, and usually I find tanks are pretty hard to play on high ping. Um, so I don't really recommend it, especially stuff like Sam or Ash, I feel like is very like the super micro intensive tanks. Um, I find they're like really hard to play on high ping. So definitely uh, be careful of what server you're playing on before you lock in tanks every single time. It's something to keep in mind as well. And uh, yeah, they're gonna first pick Squeak on double swoosh. So I like Squeak. I've personally been banning it, like, uh, if I have first, just because I I feel like you can get baited into taking it because it's such a good brawler, but then you can still get ran down. So we're going to go Carl into it, which uh, I kind of like, because I think you can play Carl mid here. But we're going to go Stu as well, which I'm suggesting. They're both, like, pretty good into Squeak. And, uh, yeah, the Stu kind of covers us for tanks a bit if they want to run this down. We did go Carl, so you got to be careful of that. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so far I like our draft and um, it's not a good squeak game at all for them. So I I have last pick, so something I'm always like, because I'm usually like the highest in the lobby or at least on my team. Something that I'm always looking for is, okay, like they don't have any damage, they don't have any wall breaks, they don't have anything to take out the grass. Gene does have permanent vision, which will be very annoying. Squeak is a slow. But a brawler that I think is pretty... <laughs> you guys saw the Sam on here. I'm not going to play the Sam. <laughs> the stupid walls mess up the interactions. It's not even my fault. But uh, yeah, I'm going to... I see Pam and I'm like, alright, like they can't break any of my grass. I'm going to go Rosa. Like The only thing that can break grass is like a gene pull. It's pretty easily avoidable. Um, I'm going to go plant life here. You go thorny gloves if they have a tank. It lets you beat a lot of tanks, actually. It's really good into tanks. And then I'm going to go because I think the slow would have been really good here as well. Um, but they don't really have anything to break the grass once again. So I'm going to go this one and I'll just be able to kind of like run it down really hard. And once again, guys, I am on like very high ping. It's hard to dodge, not just shoot when you're on high ping. So I don't get like as slimy as I could. Uh, I'll be straight up about it. Like I do die a lot, but I think it's fine. So I want to go right side and just give my Carl the easy lane because it is a really good Carl game. He's good into all three of those brawlers as well. And I can set my grass up a lot better here as well. So you can see I'm just like kind of buying a lot of attention and uh, the Gene and the Squeak do have to worry about me quite a bit. Squeak's already used two gadgets on me. They're like really trying to pinch me out. And because of all this pressure, we have a five to zero gem lead. Our Stu just throws it though. I don't know what he's doing. Like. He just, the stew is terrible. You guys will see a stat line at the end. Our Carl played really good though, so props to Carl, but this stew is not it, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Like, he just threw all the gems, like, for no reason. And he gets mad and starts shooting me after <laughs> when he's, like, trolling. But here, I do waste my super. I thought I could maybe kill the Pam. The Pam was one shot, but I should definitely hang on to the super because I got, like, no super charge back. And, uh, yeah, our stew is not going for gems anymore. I don't know what he's doing. Bro does not know how to play the game. He's pretty lost. Um, but yeah, this game, it looks super one-sided, even though we had like a six to zero gem lead. That's why like, you got to be careful in power league two, like who you put on mid. Uh, it is a pretty big responsibility holding the gems, one that randoms can't really live up to very often. So yeah, more often than not, I think you should try playing, uh, mid if you think you're the best player on your team. So yeah, unfortunate game here. And I'm just getting like... When there are like three people standing on one side, it's kind of up to the other side to do something. You know, like get position, like pinch or whatever. But I'm like just running it down, dying, which kind of like my position. If three people are on me, like we need to do something on the other end. Uh, we almost get the squeak there, but I think it doesn't matter. Like we just can't die with the gems, to be honest. So yeah, you guys can just kind of see, like I'm sure like a lot of people are like, oh my god, like why did he go for Rosa? Like such a bad pick. It's not. Honestly, like... This is completely my Stu's fault. We should have won that game. 
and yeah i'm just taking a lot of attention like they're gonna get pinched at the start like he just kind of runs it down and dies for no reason um and you can see here though i do manage to catch them out i'm gonna get a gene knockback if i can stay alive perfect uh if not you know it's whatever um so not really the best start Stu decides to just die not get any gems i don't know i can't tell you what he's doing to be honest like I, maybe he just unlocked the brawler or something uh but he's not very good at it and yeah nice kill from my carl though and i can actually like really pressure these so i'm gonna go there and uh yeah i think i do manage to just like stay alive like a little bit unfortunately uh the pam turret does come through and finish me off so i did waste my super there um i don't really mind going for that because it could have been really good and uh our stew is like allergic to gems i guess so he hasn't like he has one gem like this entire game i think so it's pretty bad uh but this game is definitely still winnable like i said if i get in position like right here they're like all three there so yeah they can kill me but they don't really have a good way to deal with me and carl if we like sync up and go in at the same time we can definitely still win this game by the way guys like i know they're all three like just standing there so i'm gonna go the other side and uh i'm just gonna make sure i regen i'm healthy and uh we can look to get some resets going here as well but i know like i just ran in and died the whole time but i'm telling you guys the stew like does not want to play the game like it's very hard to win when you have teammates that like just don't want to play the game um so i do get the reset there and pretty much they don't have a good way to deal with us like i've been saying it the whole time i see the pams over there just gonna ignore him and just focus on the gems i'm close to my shield should be able to get a reset when we get in like here like you know he can knock me back whatever but the Carl is going to kill him. I don't know. This dude, he's being very useless. Like, he's not even helping with, like, the reset pushes. Like, he's just going up and dying first. Uh, you can see he's, like, one shot already. Like, not really doing anything. Uh, but I do see the Pam has the gems. And I get them in a really good spot here. All right. So I get them in a good spot. And I am able to... I don't know why the gene pulls me. Uh, but luckily, my Carl did tank that shot for me and uh yeah i think about going for the kill here i think i do manage to get him and i'll pop my shield just to get the gems out as well so you can kind of see like the rosa pick like when we are able to just like cycle up like that and uh pressure them they don't really have a way to kill me now i think the issue like after watching it back with this is just when i go up and i'm like applying a lot of pressure nobody's really doing anything the stew's not getting gems he's just like dying um and the carl isn't really like doing as much as he could either i think so yeah it's definitely winnable though game number three um and yeah we're looking to hopefully not have to reset it like five times this time so i'm gonna just get my grass set up here connect that and i really want to stay alive like right on those like two tiles but it's fine like i got hit by too many shots like you know, I'm not saying I played amazing, but we do have a 3-0 to zero gen lead. So, I'm getting shot by two people. The stew realizes, okay, mid's wide open. Like, I'm not doing anything. I'll just pick up the gems. I get another squeak slow. Stu is uh, just, you know, this is fine. Like, obviously not ideal, but the Carl's doing good. He got a kill on his lane. This is very free Carl game. Very good Stu game, in my opinion, as well. Like, I don't think we any of us really have bad matchups. So, uh, yeah, three to three. I've gone two squeak slows out. Three people on my lane again. So the Carl, this is what you need to do. You go aggro, you go get a kill as well. Okay. So if three people are on my side, guys. He should be able to go and do that every time. They do not have a good way to defend me or Carl. So it's just, like, kind of up to us. And, like, Stu as well. Stu's doing good this game. He's getting the gems. And, uh, yeah, here you can see this is how every game should go. So one of the issues I think with tanks is people don't know how to play with tanks on their team as well. But this game, like uh, my team's doing a lot better. And this is how it should go every time, to be honest. We have a huge outdraft here. This is literally like 80 to 20 outdraft, I think. Like the only way we like should lose is if like the gene pulls someone or like Pam like just kind of goes crazy. But like the Carl can kill the Pam really easy. So can I. So I don't see how we lose this game. It's just like skill issue. All right guys, game number three. It's gonna be back on Canal Grande. This is one of the best tank maps in the game, hands down. You can play a lot of different tanks here, uh, more than any other map that comes to mind, besides maybe Pit Stop. Pit Stop's really good for tanks too. Um, so yeah, we have first pick and they leave Shelly open. So I'm just like, go with the Shelly, bro. Like having a Shelly on your team, it makes it so easy to draft guys. Like you do not have to worry about tanks or anything to run you down if you just pick this brawler and it's good into like every other brawler too no okay 
it has bad matchups obviously but it's kind of fine like you can definitely win them and it's really good for getting position like the super is broken etc so it, it just makes it some brawlers like if you pick them on certain maps it just makes it so easily or sorry, so easy to play um and shelly usually very easy to play with on like almost any map uh, they are going to go with Mr. P, which I don't like at all. Uh, I think if they went Barley, it would have been really good, like Tara Barley. I think that would have been very good. Barley is really good on this map as well. Uh, just for position, damage, like you can super out, get a side back. The gadget's really good. And yeah, so I see they can't go a tank because we have Shelly. And Barley is not the worst in the tanks either. Um, and... You know, I think Buster is pretty good as long as you don't have to worry about tanks for the most part. Now, I, there is an interaction when I use the star power with Buster. If Tara tries pulling me and I have my super up, I won't get dragged. So I think it's kind of a counter pick just because of that. You can take out her pets really easily. And uh, of course, Buster's gadget. He is so, like that gadget is definitely top five gadgets in the game for me. It's so good. You can get so many kills off it. It's such easy position. And, you know, Buster Super is really good as well. They go Gene, which I don't like at all. It helps them with, like, positioning, kind of. Um, but, I don't know. I, I really don't like the Gene pick. Uh, I don't really see why you would pick it here. Like, I can block the shield as well. It's kind of like Vision, I guess. But I think they need something uh, to deal with me and the Shelly more. Um, and they also don't really have anything for barley. I guess gene pool could go for barley like mr Bean can kind of hit barley, but this is like in my opinion This is like a hundred to zero outdraft for us and uh, If we lose again, same thing with the o10 stew. It's just like a skill issue So you can see you get a really nice gadget off there. Also guys just playing this out. This is EU I'm playing on like a hundred plus ping again these guys on my team. They're not there everyone in this lobby is EU except for me um, so yeah, you can see my ping. I can't really spam as much as I would like or as fast as I like as well. Um, but yeah, off to a really good start and, uh, unfortunately, like, yeah, that's pretty bad. If that's my server, I, <sighs> stupid YouTube ads. So if that's my server, I think I can get, uh, the pull off. Uh, sorry, uh, my super off in time to block the tar cards there, but it's not so unfortunately I did die I was really aggro there because I need to keep them out of mid if we play a side to side against like the gene I think that's like a pretty big win condition for them as well They just have vision on us like Barley's not really gonna kill them. He can't overextend too much. He's good for clearing them out But yeah, I don't think we can really get like win side to side that well against them um so yeah, all three of us just kind of holding down this side. Everything's fine. Um, 45 seconds left. So ideally we do need like one or two more kills, but I think it's good. We don't want to overextend here. And the Jean's just there. I don't know what the Shelly's doing. Like the Shelly like just kind of wants to lose the game, I guess. So we're down because of that. I'm like very like, like scratching my head here like what what did you just do Shelly like do you not know how to count your stars um, so yeah Shelly threw it pretty hard there and we do have supers etc so I'm gonna go down here and I'll block the gene pull and yeah I think I get the gene but uh, I don't know if I okay I did get out so yeah I'm just gonna pull him there whatever it's fine even if I die like we still have the lead so yeah, nice little pinch there from us at the end and Buster super. It's just so good for pinching too. It's really slept on brawler into the right matchups in my opinion. All right. So same thing looking to at the start of the game, our comp is so much better than theirs. Like someone needs to pinch the gene with me here. I just got his knockback out. Like Shelly just shoot up like barley. Like it's free kill. Thank you guys. Um, free kill. Like I said, so, um, I do get frustrated playing Power League sometimes because some of these plays, like, it's just so obvious to me, but people don't really clue in, and I can kill the Gene here as well, so I'm just gonna gadget him in, and getting ready to pop my super. I don't need it, um, you know, that's fine. We do get the kill, and we're up by, like, five stars. I don't know, the Shelly's gonna dodge the Gene pull, it's good. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to feed Mr. P Porters. I think I do get hit by one or two. I want to see if he gets baited thinking I'm on the other side. But uh, yeah, here I'll just pop my super and we can clean up the Tara as well. And 
Yeah, so the Barley should be able to take out those Penguins too when he gets a Super or something like that. I don't know what the Barley's doing though, like, I guess he kills the Porters, but that's definitely not worth it, like, it's just like, so like, I don't know, the Barley just walks up, dies again. I'm kind of too far forward, uh, I'm gonna die, the Shelly's gonna die, and it's just like a mess, like, honestly, like, I shouldn't have gone forward there, oh, Shelly gets a kill, that's good, but we are gonna go down by two stars, but I don't know, like, it's just so questionable. I definitely shouldn't have went in there. I think I was trying to cover for the Barley or something, but it was definitely too late, and then I think it was too far forward because Tara had to pull. Um, but here, like, it's not looking as good. The Barley uh, is in a good spot to flank, but he's just going to die to the Mr. P Porter, I guess. And here, like, I do get my super, but, yeah, it's, like, too late. Like, the Barley died, so we're just going to lose that game, I guess. Like... Should not be losing with this comp into their comp. Um, IQ diff, I guess. Game number three. So yeah, I'm a little like annoyed at this point because, again, we have such a good draft that you know I constructed. I'm gonna get the Tara off the start. Just gonna bully the Gene here, and there should be a free kill. Nice. Everyone pinches me. It pinches with me, and uh, that is how easy it should be. Just like free kill like that. Just we have a barley, very good brother for pinching. Shelly clay pigeon, super good for pinching as well. I'm just trying to build up my super, keep them out of here, and uh, yeah, everyone's playing much better this time. I think sometimes when you just have like too good of a comp, I feel like you don't take it serious because you're like you can't lose this, and then sometimes you lose, and then you have to focus on like the third game. So uh, I'm assuming that's what's going on with us. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it'd be nicer just to get the 2 up. But, uh, yeah, so you can see, unfortunately, I'm getting hit by some Mr. P shots, and he is going to build up Porter. Nice kill from the Shelly. That's what we like to see. Get a nice little gadget there as well. So, really well played from the Shelly. And when you have control on this map, this is how it should be, guys. So, I don't want to use my gadget, but I think I, yeah, I, I'm not risking it. This isn't my server. And you can see 13 to 0. This is how it should be, like, their comp has no way to get mid control into ours at the start. Like, absolutely none. If the Shelly is on the side or whatever, and they try using Tara pets, like, I can take them out with one shot, or like the Barley. They don't have a thrower, we have a thrower, and Barley's probably the best thrower for pinching at the start. You can see there's the interaction I was talking about, where the Tara tries pulling you and you pull, uh, put your super out, then it just can't. Uh, and yeah, Barley's gonna get a kill there, but our comp is just so good here. Like, you should never lose a single game. Uh, but yeah, you can see, pretty good Buster game. Alright guys, game number four. Now, like I said earlier in the video, uh, Pit Stop is definitely one of the best tank games, or tank maps in the game. So there's a few brawlers that I personally like banning, because I think they're way too good into tanks, and it makes it, like, very difficult to play, and... Rico is definitely one of them. Um, I think Tara is also pretty good, but usually I like first picking Rico. Um, so I might ban something like Barley or something like that and try getting the first pick Rico. But it also kind of works like if you go Barley and then they pick Rico, like you have a good matchup because a lot of the Ricos like don't really bring in uh, the healing one anymore. They just bring the damage one. So I think just giving the bans here, Barley, like kind of makes sense. Uh, they're gonna insta pick Rico though, so definitely a very scary brawler on this map. Does so much damage you can never let it get on your save, or it will get melted extremely fast. So yeah, I know it's gonna be kind of like a tough game for tanks, and they're gonna go Dyna as well. So I really like their two three there. I think it's smart from them. Uh, kind of covers everything. Mm. Now we could go something like Carl. I think is fine, or something like. Um, I don't really like Stu as much here. I used to like it a lot, but I feel like every time I play Stu, I just get such a good KD and my teammates never can do damage. So we're going to go Daryl. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but I like BB here. Uh, speed BB is pretty, like Rico doesn't counter BB the hardest compared to the other tanks because you do have like a bit of range and uh, you can get kind of slimy on the speed BB and it's going to Dyna as well. They're going to go Buzz. Um, 
I don't recommend going Buzz into Rico. I think you get melted pretty fast. It's not obviously it's fine into Dyna, I think, but a good Dyna can still kind of outplay it. So yeah, it's not really <laughs> the best uh, Daryl game, and Buzz should kind of clap BB as well. Uh, once you get super, it's like very free matchup for Buzz. I think it's pretty hard for BB, but uh, yeah, you can see here. I am just going to see if I can get on safe and do as much damage as possible and hopefully my teammates can defend or get on safe with me because I think we do win a base race as long as Rico's not on the safe. So I'm just going to hit Buzz back there and dodge a few Dino shots as well. And yeah, everything's going pretty good this game. Just going to bait out Dino shots. Unfortunately, my Barley does go down there, but that's fine. Like. You know, it's uh, not the end of the world, and just gonna try getting my BB bubble because I can do a ton of damage with it. I also want damage gear. I shouldn't have popped my gadget there. It's pretty uh, dumb of me. And then I'll just line it up like that, and just, you know, just like that, like 43% by myself. So, really good start, and um, yeah, my teammates are gonna be there to get a bit more damage. I don't know the dino was there yet. Uh, I am in like a little bit of awkward place. You do have to kind of guess uh, if they do have a buzz. Um, you know, it is a little hard with BB to time it, but nice play from the Daryl there as well. Barley needs to defend the Rico. Um, I watched that defense back. The Barley played it so bad, like just like terrible. Um, and you can just see like I can't really do anything into the buzz, but that's like a pretty fine defense for the Barley. The Rico supered somewhere completely like off that wasn't hitting him and he walked into it. Like literally the midway, he just walked into the Rico super. So yeah, Barley, unfortunately, not a very good player. Um, he's a repeat offender in my Power League games, but <laughs> it's how it be sometimes. Like if you play Power League, you're not gonna get, always get the best players. But I think we definitely win that if he can defend like slightly better. And uh, yeah, like I think my start was really good, so I'm gonna look to try doing the same thing. Gonna get off the buzz, and it's fine. I do more damage than buzz, so I do want to see if I can build up uh, my super. I can't. That's okay. I still do a ton of damage, so uh, 2,100 per shot is a lot. I'm gonna see if I can kill the Rico. Unfortunately, I just missed time that, and I will get the kill still though, and I do get damage gear, so tons of damage coming through. But my teammates again, they're not really. They do not got me with the defense, and uh, yeah, I, I'm going to mess up my BB bubble there. I think I got a little too excited, so yeah, not the BB bubble we wanted. Definitely miss out on like 20% there. It doesn't matter though, like my teammates, just not a good job defending. Uh, if you guys were to watch the replay, you would understand, like it is not hard defenses that they are messing up. Uh, Winky is usually good in my game, so I don't really mind if someone has a bad game every now and then, but this Barley bro, he is like repeat offender like I said I'm gonna take the Rico out but like I said just like no defense at all um, so yeah a little unfortunate but you can see how good BB is on that map I think I did like pretty good for the most part Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed all the tank gameplay. And yeah, I'll have another upload for you guys really soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.